Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making an easy, delicious, shortcut shepherd's pie. Boy, that is a mouthful, and believe me, it is delicious. Now, I'm starting with ground beef. I know that shepherd's pie is traditionally made with ground lamb, but here in the United States, we substitute that with ground beef. For the most part. Now I've already browned a pound of ground beef and I added a little bit of garlic and onion powder and some salt and pepper. You can find the full recipe in my description. I always list my recipe right under my title. Just scroll down and you'll find exactly how I prepared this. Now I've already drained my fat off of my ground beef, and now I'm ready to add my other ingredients. Now, the first shortcut that I'm using is some packaged brown gravy. You can use any brand that you like. I'm using this Pioneer brown gravy. It's so good. And I'm just gonna coat my ground beef in this just a little bit before I add my liquid. Now I've got a cup of hot water and I'm pouring this right into my gravy mix and ground beef. And I'm just gonna give this a stir. Now I'm gonna boost this just a little bit by adding some tomato paste. This is optional. I love just a little bit of tomato paste in here. Actually, a tablespoon is all I'm going to add there and about. And I love the fact that they make this tomato paste and put it in a tube now where you don't have to open the can. You can use what you want and put the rest back in the refrigerator. That tomato sauce just gives it a little hint of something. It doesn't taste tomatoey, but it does give this gravy and ground beef another depth of flavor that's just delicious. Now for my vegetables. I'm using three-fourths of a cup of frozen peas. You can use more or less if you like. And I've got one can of sliced carrots. I prefer the canned versus the frozen. I think that they just taste better. But if you want to use some frozen carrots, I'm not opposed. And I'm just going to Stir this to where it's all covered in this delicious gravy. And last, I've got a little bit of S&P. Only because these carrots and peas are not seasoned. So, I'm just going to add just a little bit of the kosher salt just to season these up a little bit. And some ground black pepper. And there we go. Now we're done with this portion of it. Now for the potato part of this recipe. And again, I have another shortcut and this is a great one. Now, if you have two cups of leftover mashed potatoes at your house or you wanna make scratch potatoes, then please, by all means, use those. If you're short on time and you're looking for something delicious, I strongly suggest these. And I'm using the Idaho Four Cheese Dehydrated Potatoes. These are delicious. Christina, my bonus daughter, told me about these and I love using them when I'm on a time pinch. I'm using one cup water and one cup milk. The milk is gonna give the potatoes just more flavor and richness. Now I'm adding the whole package of potatoes. And I'm gonna whisk these together. And now into the microwave for a two to three minutes, just until they get nice and thick. The potatoes are looking nice and thick and if the two to three minutes didn't do it for you, then just put them in the microwave until they're thickened up. But look at these. Mm -hmm. Now I am gonna beef or cheese these potatoes up just a little bit. I'm gonna add a good 
keeping tablespoon of butter because I believe butter makes everything better. And I've got some extra sharp cheddar cheese. And this is about a cup. And I'm gonna reserve just a little bit for the top of the shepherd's pie. And this is going all in. Now, if you wanted to use other flavors of the instant potatoes, they have an herb that's delicious, but I prefer the cheese on this. You can always add a little bit of garlic powder or some fresh chives. Just the sky's the limit, really. Just make it your own. Now, before I add them to the rest of these ingredients, I just want to give them a taste and see if they need any extra seasoning. Perfect. They're nice and cheesy and creamy and buttery. Yum. Now, here we go. These are all going right on top. Let's just spread them out. I love these kind of meals that are just all in one dish. Easy, easy cleanup, and so satisfying. Now for the remaining cheese. I just want to sprinkle this all over the top. That way, there's no doubt that these potatoes are nice and cheesy. And there we go came together in minutes. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and this is going to go in for maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Everything is fully cooked but we want to get these potatoes nice and browned and we also want to get that gravy and beef mixture nice and bubbly and warm in the center. So I'll see you back here when it's done. Look at this gorgeous shepherd's pie. This cooked for about 35 minutes, and I've been letting it rest for just a little bit because you want everything to settle. If you start cutting into it right after it's come out of the oven, it's just going to go all over the place. But if you let it sit for a good 10 minutes, it will be perfect, like I believe this is going to be. Let me show you. Can you see that? See that beautiful gravy? It's all just absorbed into everything. Now, look at this. Mm, it's hot, y'all. This is so good. The mashed potatoes, the cheese, the beef the gravy, the vegetables, and just that hint of tomato paste gave it so much more flavor. Y'all have got to try this. This is perfect for just those quick evening meals. And this will feed practically an army. And speaking of an army, my husband just came home and I know that he is anxious to have some of this. Y'all are a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Make sure you press that like button and share this with your friends. Follow me at Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube, and I'll see you next time.